Hey. So, beloved, somebody lying on their thing, okay? I'm going to just say thing, but we know what, what, what I'm talking about, okay? Hope we know what I'm talking about, okay? Somebody lying on their thing, okay? And they was lying. They've been lying on their thing this whole time, right? Somebody said that you were, <laughs> and this person believed them, which, I mean, kind of, which kind of speaks to their intelligence or lack thereof. Okay. But somebody lied on their thing. Okay. Saying that they slept with you and were sleeping with you, which was totally not true. Absolutely not true. Okay. But this person believed it. Okay. Because they wanted to believe it. Right. It gave them an excuse. Excuse me. It gave them an excuse to um, do what they were already wanting to do behind your back, right? Just gave them excuse to do that, right? Um people said that they had they had slept with you. People said that um you know that you gave them the time of day basically that you were doing this and that behind their back and <clears throat> after the smoke is all settled, right? Which it has and, and everybody can see clearly now. Um they see that that was never true. That that was never true. Now they're looking back on how they even believed that about you because they were with you. They were right next to you. And somehow they couldn't see. It's not that they couldn't see. It's that they didn't want to. They didn't want to. See, when you lie to yourself, you don't know that later on the lie that you told to yourself is going to painfully harm you emotionally it's going to harm you see the lie works the same with other people as it does i mean it works the same with you as it does other people right not you beloved but you know what i'm saying right you lie to other people it's gonna have the same effect with you lying on your lying to yourself you think that you're not going to feel it. You think that you can just shut it down. That's not how it works. If you were unbalanced and you were trying to push something down, you were trying to act balanced, that's going to come up eventually. And then you're not going to be able to hide it. You're not going to be able to control it. You're not going to be able to do what you used to be able to do, which is push it down. No. Now it's on you to wear on the outside of you. What's on the inside of you is now on the outside of you and you're wearing it like a coat. And you're never able to take that coat off. Lest you take accountability, lest you um, do self introspection, lest you man up or woman up. Three, two, one on my timer. Okay. But this person has been watching you. A whole community of people have been watching you. Let's say Nineveh. Nineveh's been watching you. And they see that you were none of the things that were said about you. Some of your siblings were even behind, behind this group, within this group. I know at least my brother was. Ex-brother. <laughs> but I know at least my brother was. Maybe my sister too, but at least my brother, right? And it's a lot easier to figure out who was involved, right? All you have to do is look at the people that you separated yourself from way before all of this, you knew all of this was occurring. If it's people you stepped away from, you already saw this in them which is why you removed yourself a long time ago, which is why they've been had a grudge against you for a long time. They were pissed when you were there. They're pissed when you're gone. Can't win with these type of people. Right? They ignore you, and then they're pissed off when you don't care. You know, they give you this nasty, avoidant energy and you just match their energy, right? You're not nasty back at them, no. 
but you are avoidant. You don't see them because they don't exist in your world anymore, right? And they hate that. They're mad because you're not looking in their direction. They're not worth you to look in their direction. They're not worth you to even have a conversation about. You know what I'm saying? And this person or these people lied on their private parts saying that they slept with you, that they've done all of these things with you and they never have. Never have. They'll be lucky if you even acknowledge their presence, which you will not. Why? Because they're low vibrational and you can't even see them. <laughs> you can't even see them. They might as well be translucent. You know how when you boil uh, something with onions in it and that onion becomes see-through, translucent? Yeah, you see right through them. Like a glass house. They didn't know that, <laughs> that they were in a glass house throwing stones at another house hiding their hands, but they forgot they lived in a glass house. Come on now. But um, these lies that they told, the truth is being seen in them. Okay, so now everybody's looking at them like they're bad, crazy, because they are. Okay, all of the secrets are out, beloved. Everything is out. There's no more secrets. There's no more deceptions. There's no more. It's all been aired out. All right? And you're going to find out who was lying on their body parts about you. Okay? All right. I love y'all, beloved. <coughs> and I'll highlight y'all.